Hey guys, and welcome to Up on the Popcorn. I'm Stephanie. Thank you for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, then how about clicking that subscribe button? So today we're gonna be talking about Snake Eyes. <laughs> My little disclosure here before I do start my very quick review on this because I only have a few thoughts on it to be honest with you. Um, just like with the Marvel movies and DC movies, even though I am more invested in those, I'm not like a huge G.I. Joe fan. I never read any, I think they're comic books too, but I never saw any of the cartoons. I didn't play with any of the toys, uh, none of that. Um, I did see the two movies that came out like way back when and I did not like those movies. They were so boring. I believe Shannon Tatum and Marlon Wayans came on those, right? Is that the one? I think so, I'm pretty sure. So when I heard about the movie coming out, I was like, oh, I don't know about this. But then I saw the trailer and the trailer sold me. I said, oh, we're gonna get a good G.I. Joe movie. We have Henry Golding in it. I know a lot of people are like big major fans of him. I, so far, haven't fallen completely over heels in love with him. Maybe because I haven't watched Crazy Rich Asians. I think that's where a lot of people kind of came and fell in love with him and I have not seen that movie yet. I know you guys, I know. Henry Golding, he does great. He's probably the best part in the movie. Uh, but yeah, there's kind of like my little disclaimer when it comes to these movies, just like I, I've always said when I do any kind of like superhero or movie kind of stuff that, you know, I don't have that love or knowledge for it. It pretty much falls within the same aspect of the other two movies. It was boring. <laughs> Ugh. I I got up to go use the bathroom. I mean, I could have hold it, but I was like, you know what? I don't think I'm missing anything here. Well, I kind of missed something. Like, he was in a snake pit when I came back. That's kind of like a little spoiler, but whatever. I don't see it. You don't know how he got in the snake pit or what the purpose of set sneak pit is so i was just like it was so boring it felt so long it's like about two hours long oh my god i was like you're bringing back memories of like the old gi joe movies the beginning part of it you guys is like shaky camera and it is absolutely terrible that beginning part of it when they're fighting oh it was just like if y'all don't stop with this damn shaky camera it did get better though it did get better um there's some pretty cool fight sequences i guess when you're able to tell what's going on because there's like a lot of close-up shots i think once we got yeah once we got a little bit further and any more fighting that's happening they don't do that shaking camera as much but ugh, that camera work in the movie you guys oh no i don't like it oh hold on yeah i mean that's really much all i'm gonna it's gonna be a really quick just really after theater thoughts going on right here. It's not even a review. This honestly had the potential to be so much more. Could have been way better, especially since we did again have those two original G.I. Joe movies that didn't go so well that they could have came out and brought us something way, way, way better um, with this. This one is gonna go out of my mind. Since I just saw this one, this is my favorite one out of the three. If you've seen Snake Eyes, what did you think about it? Let me know down below. Did you like it? Did you, did you hate it? Was it just not for you? Had some pretty cool, like, samurai, like, samurai, samurai stuff going on that worked at times. The whole training session actually was pretty cool. Um, I did enjoy that. I really was going in there expecting a little bit more than what we got, given the trailers. But honestly, the trailers are probably the best part. And at that... The trailers really sold it to be like way better than what it actually came out to be. You know what, before I do give you my score, if you haven't already, give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. I do have a few reviews coming to you this weekend, so make sure you have that bell hit so you don't miss a beat. Um, yeah, Snake Eyes unfortunately falls within the other G.I. Joe movies. Very much forgettable. I'm gonna give it a small popcorn. Definitely, definitely not this weekend's movie for you to watch. Uh, just wait for it to come out in streaming services or to rant. All right, guys. Till next time, I'll see you guys at concessions. Bye. <laughs>